Experience and Conservation Station. Since the 1930s, Disney animators have put their pencils to paper in service of the idea that the greatest inspiration often comes from the magic of nature. Walt Disney himself understood the importance of spending time around animals, studying their behavior and personalities in order to create realistic characters and dynamic storylines. This meeting of the human and animal worlds sparked a legacy of storytelling that has shaped our relationship with animals and conservation forever. Today, we invite you to become a part of that legacy as our own Disney artists help you learn to sketch characters inspired by the very animals found here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Get your pencils ready, because here comes our animation artist now. scientifically in the community and with the animals themselves. Our end goal is that we truly make a difference for those animals in the wild. The Disney Conservation Fund is proud to celebrate and protect the wildlife we share our planet with. From our experiences and dedication to animal care, to our work to save wildlife and our support of conservation heroes, the Disney Conservation Fund is committed to ensuring a world where wildlife thrives and inspiring all of us to treasure and protect the magic of nature. We blend the love of nature and our respect for animals that Walt Disney
Disney always had himself with making dreams come true, getting people excited about nature and about being out in the wild. Every single one of us matters and has a role to play. Every single day we make a difference. And let's learn to live in peace and harmony between nations, cultures, religions, and between us and Mother Nature. At Disney, we're not just talking about helping the animals that share our planet, we're doing something about it. Join us by taking action in your own community to save wildlife, inspire action, and protect the planet. Show a little of that 
yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of expression. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make a letter T on the side there. It kind of looks like an italicized letter T. I'm going to bring this through the top of the circle. So yes, we're going to go ahead and cut through again with that circle. And just before that vertical guideline, let's bend it back a little bit. You're kind of making a, a laying down L. And then you're going to pull this down to the point, so you're making this as a triangle. So obviously, uh, tigers don't have eyebrows there, but for a tiger, this would be a beautiful stripe. And each uh, tiger stripes is unique and different to them. Uh, so like our fingerprints are different for us, right? There's no, um, no one person that has the same set of fingerprints. So it's the same thing for the tigers. So you can actually have one go a little bit higher on yours. Um, and maybe tigers kind of got that smaller thing going on. <laughs> So let's go ahead and pull this down. I'm going to bring this into like that window shield. Go a little bit past the design X symbols. Stay above that guideline. You can still see how I'm just kind of staying sketchy and messy too. And showing your work a little bit. It's like you would do kind of a math class. So don't be afraid to kind of have some messy trying out a few lines too as well. Okay to do that. If you're animating, you're going to be quick and loose too. Usually we draw a little bit faster than we here, uh, but just kind of getting the idea and the movement of it all. I'm going to go ahead and trace over a little bit of that top of that circle there. And then you know what? I'm going to go ahead and shade in part of the stripes too. Now this is a part that you do not have to do now. You can always come back to this at another time. The, your, the pencils go home with you. So you can uh, shade on the train if you want to. And then we're going to go ahead and place in the eyes. Uh, yeah. So the eyes, again, are going to rest right there in the horizontal line. I kind of did that roughly earlier. I want to put one on either side of that vertical guideline. We'll go over on the right side and draw in another little oval here. And this is going to be a little button eyes for tigers, so they might be sewn on that stuffed animal. And uh, these are actually a uh, real story. Uh, Christopher Robin was a little boy. His dad is A.A. Mill, so he actually collected all these stories that he, the Christopher Robin had with all the stuffed animals. So I'm going to shade in that little pupil in there next to it as well. Little tiny pupils. And you can meet the original stuffed animals, or see them anyway, over at the New York City Public Library. So are over there, you're headed that direction sometime. Um, I'm going to check them all out. I should all be over there except for Roo. Roo got lost, but we're hoping he comes back sometime. <laughs> Well, I had a little more expression, I added maybe a little wrinkle or like maybe a little more thread would probably be or so on a stuffed animal just right underneath the eye. You might get tired from bouncing all night, so you might have those little under eye circles to spin up all night bouncing. <laughs> a little curve right there above too as well, and it kind of makes them look a little more expressive that way too. It can go a little higher normally too as well. So then if yours is a little bit higher, it's just like oh, -hoo -hoo, yeah. something like that. <laughs> Alright, so now we got that in there. We gotta figure out where his uh, little muzzle is gonna be next to. And then I uh, got these two little blue lines. We got the one at the bottom and the one in between that and the bottom of the circle. I'm gonna use that as a guide for now. And then we we'll find about halfway between the two. And this one and that one. And just eyeballing it, so just eyeball it. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is very, very lightly, kind of like we did in the middle. Remember those light lines there? Don't be afraid of having more lines than you feel like you need, because uh, these are all kind of research lines, pretty much. And I'm just going to kind of curve it down off the top of that curve above the nose for the window shield that we made earlier. I'm going to pull it down to the side of that circle. We'll do the same thing on this side. We're going to go ahead and pull this down to the muzzle in there. By the way, a tiger is actually having really great eyesight. 
56 times stronger at night. I'm going to pull it down to the line that I made. Pull this around, and we're going to pull it right back up to where we want. And again, it's just very nice and messy. You're filling it out, researching out that, uh, that form there. All right, so now once we get that in there, who's got messy lines on theirs? <laughs> we got a lot of messy lines. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add in kind of a little bit of his uh, outside of his head and then a little color separation too. So take the top of that circle, we're going to curve it down. You can go ahead and draw through the eyebrows so you can kind of see where I'm coming out. Past, right? I'm going to pull toward the end of this line without really touching it. A little magnet there. And then we'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to pull past the top of that circle. I'm going to pull toward kind of the end of that line. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go from here to there and just draw a line that kind of goes straight from line to line. Or end of the line to end of the line. Same thing over here on this side. But it has that kind of a football kind of shape there too. There you go. You're a tiger band, beagles, right? <laughs> Maybe. Or cobblers. Or eagle. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and pull this down. I'm going to kind of squish it in a little bit toward the muzzles, the tiny bit. We'll do the same thing over here. Go ahead toward that muzzle. And squish it. And then it's going to go straight down. Now what I'm going to do is back out just a little bit. So we see this little blue line at the bottom again. And that's where we're going to kind of reach this score. And again, if you want to sketch it out a little bit, kind of get that nice little idea down on your paper, go ahead and do that. I love seeing like really loose straws. It just makes Tinker look a little more uh, bouncy <laughs> on your paper, having those extra white lines in the background. Kind of adds that little extra energy, um, kinetic energy that Milt Hall gave. Yes, he was designed by one of the, the nine old men. Um, two of them, obviously, I mentioned earlier on that wall, Thomas Mellon Johnson. But um, Milt Hall also did a shirt con, too, as well. And really great to work under, too, but also. Um, yeah, it might be like peas and cues. It comes with teas in your eyes when you weren't under, um, got your eyes when you weren't under um, milk there. So you can see it's a big really stick for certain things. <laughs> so there we kind of got that nice little, um, like, like a uh, bicycle seat almost, kind of. <laughs> Uh, so once we get that in there, we're going to show that little color separation because we know tigers to have a couple of different colors, right? What's one of the main colors we think of? You know. Orange. orange, yeah, I gotta have some orange in there too. Sorry, off the camera. <laughs> so, uh, so, you can get my little seat in there. We're gonna do a little bit of a bounce for Tigger. It's a tiny bounce. I'm gonna pull this from the top of the nose up on this side. It kind of lines up almost with the side there, if you need that as a guide. I'm gonna bounce down a little bit, kind of toward the side there, and then it's gonna pull it right back up. And I'm gonna pull this right over. Tiger is going to use this thing like shades of like green and yellow. They don't really see in the, in the orange there too. So it is kind of a nice uh, camouflage um, for a uh, tiger. See when they hide in that grass too. I'm going to pull this down again. Get that little bounce. Just a little tiny bounce right now. He's kind of warming up right now. Um, <laughs> so, no, not too big of a bounce still. It's still kind of, you know, it's lunchtime. Uh, so maybe this afternoon he'll have those bigger bounces. Uh, tigers can actually you know, uh, leap about 13 feet. I think Tigger could probably do a little more than 13 feet, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> and there you go, you got that letter M on both sides too as well. And then your smile, it's kind of about where the middle of your letter M is. And if you did those messy lines, and you can actually use the, the middle of the letter M first. And then you just kind of find what's one you like the best. Again, I got a lot of messy. I got lots of uh, lines to kind of choose from. And I'm just going to go back in. I'm going to darken that in a little bit. And go down to that line that I made. And then just going to pull this up on this side too. As well. 
Then we're gonna go ahead and open up this mouth a little bit too as well. So for enrichment, we get lots of really cool things like beef roast and chicken breast and stuff like that. A lot of sometimes raw meat uh, products. <laughs> I'm sure when they're processing that, you gotta do that little <laughs> Jacobson organ that they had. I mean, this <laughs> uh, so we'll open up that mouth and kind of create a little hammock in there because sometimes tears need a rest too in a hammock. So about look at the side of the nose on both sides. It comes straight down from that. Now, if you need to draw a line, go ahead and draw a line if you need to. Um, again, just to help you out, kind of really show where you're making those lines. And we'll pull this right back up on the right side. And that way he can do his um, <laughs> Tiger Tigers. <laughs> I mean, what I love about tigers, just uh, talking about them, just learning more about them and, you know, telling your friends. Uh, you can go to your local AZA zoos. You can learn more about uh, tigers, obviously. Uh, there is a little bit of a line underneath the nose that I want to trace over. That is the filter. So this will help keep for animals that are healthy. A lot of animals have it. It helps water travel from the mouth to the nose right there. And we can go ahead and give a little bit of a shade to it as well. Now, tigers are actually losing uh, their homelands uh, by, um, or they're being replaced by palm oil plantations. So, Buying a product with sustainable palm oil is a one way that you can, can help them. Um, you can go to the Cheyenne Mountain Sioux app and you can download that and you can actually see some of the products that uh, have sustainable palm oil. Uh, we're coming off a uh, holiday where we had a lot of candy, right? Or uh, we got one coming up in October uh, where we might be purchasing a lot of candy. Well, Reese's is on that list and lots of other uh, candies, but I'm just going to mention one <laughs> um, of uh, products that's got uh, sustainable palm oil. So that's just one easy way you can help to. Uh, the tires have been diminishing a lot over the years, and we want to be able to tell, be the voice for them. Uh, so we can help them out and they can learn a lot more for engagement. Um, I had a few little stitches right there, or stripes, whatever you want to call it, too, as well. Little stitches there. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and add that in there. And then, of course, we need something very important right in this area. Your ears, they can turn your ears independently off of one another, too. This is pretty cool. You'll see that a little bit with Shere Khan from the Jungle Book. And I go up to hit that blue line. I'm going to go ahead and slide down. So when I slide down on the side, the side of his ear kind of lines up where the end of that line is. So you can use that as a guide if you need to. Now I'm going to pull this back around. Now where the bottom of his ear lines up, kind of see where the side of the circle and this curved line is. Kind of roughly in that area. As a guy, you're not just I go and have a little bit of fun. Um, it just kind of helps you out a little bit if you need it. And then the, the fold in the ear starts with the blue line, and you're going to give it a little bit of a curve right there. And that will show the color separation on the top where it's orange and it's inside. It's probably a green color. Um, one of my favorites uh, in a Tigger movie. Uh, he was, his first appearance was back in 1968. So he, 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 a while back ago, but the 2011 Winnie the Pooh movie, which is really good. Um, and then also I love Christopher Robin, if you haven't checked that out. It's this down the side of his ear kind of lines up where the side of the blue line so if you need that as a guide too as well uh, but then, you know have fun and kind of eyeball at the bottom of his ear again kind of where the curve meets the side of the circle and it's going to bring it around and see how i kind of I turn that one a little more i'm actually going to bring it down a little bit more and curve it in so i have, I have power to change up that line um should i need to as well <coughs> you got the power in your jawline <laughs> Got that extra bounce. That blue line right here on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a curve too as well. Just kind of curve it up. 
And then we're going to go ahead and add in a few wrinkles to it. Now, I'm going to say be ear burners. You can help keep the little critters out of the ears. Um, and I call them critters. Because I'm still worried about falling. I'm still warming up to them myself. So, there you go. And yeah. <laughs> still warming up to our little bug friends. And we have some around the biggest point of life that goes out to you. Are you here? All right. One of the final steps here. we got to add something to here that he doesn't have. <laughs> These are stripes that need three. And we talked a little bit about that earlier. They can be different on each tiger. So if you were to shave a tiger, uh, underneath all that fur would be that same stripe pattern. I wouldn't recommend shaving a tiger by any chance, but, uh, but it is kind of cool that that stripe pattern would be underneath that fur. So it's kind of cool. Um, but you can do whatever you want to. I'm going to do these little moon white shapes. I like to say a moon just because I like moons. <laughs> but you can think of a boomerang. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side. We'll do the other side. I'm just going to make a whole new like, uh, pattern there for the sticker. I'm going to shade that in as I go too. And then the same thing over here on this side. We're going to add in one smaller one right over here, roughly. And we'll do the same thing over here. Just kind of just place them wherever you want to. I'm going to let you guys be uh, very creative on this part too. And then the same thing. And then one other final thing, Tigger and Tigers wouldn't know how big they are without this nest item, so they need these whiskers, right? And also call them by per se, too, what a fun thing to say. One, two, three, four. And I'm just kind of fun with it. I just kind of go with it, so it's just kind of is free and loose. Big, small, small. <laughs> with those. And then just kind of give it a nice little light shade right there where his uh, orange part of the fur would be. And you don't have to do this part now. Again, the pistols are yours. You can keep them. Right, do the same thing over here. All right, how are we feeling out there? Can we have a tigger on our paper? <laughs> Fancy, 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 fun, fun, fun. That's one of the things about tickers is. He's the only one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he is the only one. He's really awesome. Uh, so, guess what? We gotta say in our artwork, we gotta autograph it. That's the most important step to any drawing. And we gotta team it, because Dana allows you to track your progress from time to time, from year to year. Uh, so you can go back and you can look at what you did um, when you were 5 to 10 or however, you know. <laughs> 422 is that special day. It is my friend's birthday, of course. <laughs> and uh, that is so cool that you're both at 25 years old and this is uh, our park's birthday too. That is awesome. Uh, so, you know, and uh, just gonna encourage everybody to keep having fun, to keep drawing, keep on, and the animation legacy and the past, like Bill Paul, so the night Omen. Red is Scott, I love talking about the female animators. Red is Scott is the very first female Disney animator, so I'm just gonna make that really quick there, too. Uh, but definitely check out some of their backgrounds, too, when you get some time. Uh, thank you so much for your time.